Good morning, friends and family and viewers. Um, it's Monday morning. It's like almost 8 o'clock on Monday morning. I've been up for about almost an hour. Um, I got up about 7.20. So I've been up for about 20 minutes then. I got laundry started, mom's lunch made. Um, yeah, that's about all that I've done so far. I'm getting ready to work out and um, go from the <coughs> 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 um, sorry I'm in a lot of pain right now because I have a cyst on my ovaries and um, it's really painful and I also sound like I've got a cold but I think it's just allergies which also sucks really bad um, so I'm hoping it doesn't turn into a cold but my cough is pretty deep and um, feels junky, so that's always a concern of ours. But I haven't been running a fever or anything, and it's supposed to be super hot today, and I'm walking down to Pete's to meet up with Grace, so that should be fun. Um, yeah, that's all that's going on now, so stay tuned. I'll keep you posted on what's going on and what I'm doing. see these exercise videos on like Facebook and stuff and they seem so easy like you could totally just do it hey guys time of truth it's not easy it's a lot of work I just showed you a short little clip of mine and let me tell you it's hard work so that's that for today now I gotta go eat some breakfast and take a shower and get ready to get out of here. So, okay, here we go. So, I ate some breakfast <clears throat> and then I went and walked down to Pete's Coffee, which is about a little over a mile, just barely over a mile um, away from my house and um, met up with Grace and did some brainstorming stuff can't tell you exactly what but some big things are coming some big changes in my life are coming um I will let you I will fill you guys in when the time is right um but yeah so some big things are coming um and I am going to I texted my cousin who is a nurse, was a oncology nurse, and um, is now teaching at Samuel Merritt College. Um, I believe she's teaching nursing stuff. Um, I texted her to ask her if she can teach me how to self-access my port. Um, that's right here. And um, for, some, for the stuff that's coming up later on that I can't tell you about, some of you out there know exactly what's going on. Some of you are left in the wind. But don't worry, and right timing, I will let you all know what's going on. Um, I have called and made a physical with my doctor today. I have, yeah, just been busy doing busy work. Um, writing a letter or starting to write a letter um, for the stuff that's coming up and um, done another load of laundry I'm getting to another load ready after this load is currently done um, I think I might take a quick nap excuse me um, kind of feeling really tired out um, either allergies or whatever's going on with me right now 
is really kicking my butt. And it's also like, let's just see. It's super hot today. I just went outside and I was like, oh, it's hot. It is currently 88 degrees in Castro Valley. Ugh. And it's 3.30 in the afternoon. Ugh. Yuck. Um... It's supposed to be, in the next half hour to hour, it's supposed to be 86 degrees. So, I think we've hit the high of today. Oh, it's hot outside. So, that is what's been going on today. And, needless to say, it's been a very good day. I've gotten quite a few things accomplished already. So, thumbs up for that. And, um... Yeah, I really think it's nap time now. So, off to nap land I go. Well, I just took a, like, 20 minute nap and took a shower and now I'm getting ready to go out with Christy out to Dublin. She has something she needs to go look for, so I told her I'd go with her, so that's what's on the agenda. Um, I'll see if I can take you guys along. I'll, I mean, I'll have my camera with me, but I don't know if I'll do any recording. So, um, yeah. Talk to you guys later. So, I just got back from being out with Christy, and um, we ended up having extra time together because there was horrible traffic. The traffic out to Dublin was just horrible um I mean it wasn't horrible traffic coming back from Dublin sorry like my hair is driving me nuts right now there's like a piece of hair right here okay that's where it is um sorry that was just driving me nuts I could see it in the corner um anyways the traffic coming back from Dublin was horrible because there had been a big rig that had caught fire earlier this afternoon and so it's pretty much down to one lane traffic coming back so the traffic coming out there it slowed down but we took the back road, and even that was, like, crazy. Um, yeah, it took us quite a while to get out there. Then we went to Hobby Lobby to go get some stuff that she needed for work tomorrow. And I was able to get um, party invitations. Shh. I'm throwing a going-away surprise party for Christy, so shh. Don't say anything, because it is a... It is a surprise. Um, but I was able to get those invitations. It was kind of interesting. I told her that my niece needed them for something she was doing for school. I kind of lied to her, but I think it's an okay lie for this time. Um, no, I just told her it was something that my niece Lauren was doing, and she needed me to pick them up if I was out there. Which Lauren is helping me with the shower, so it was, it wasn't too much of a lie. It was still like, you know, I'm picking up invitations for her surprise party that Lauren's helping me with. So, yes, it's something that Lauren's doing, and she needed me to pick them up. Um, so I got the invitations, and I can start working on those now, and then, um, came home. Oh, and so then we went out to dinner at Chipotle just to give us some time to um, kind of uh, wait for traffic to die down a little bit. And then we ate dinner and took our time at Chipotle. We were in no rush and we both loved Chipotle so it was kind of worth going out there. And then we came home and I stripped my bed um, threw my sheets in the wash, so I'm waiting for those to finish, and then I'll remake my bed, and I'm gonna go make mom's lunch for tomorrow right now, and then I got my supply kit, um, hang on a second, I'll show you, not my supply kit, my supplies for my port, that bag, is supply stuff for my port. Um, 
Um, and I'm going to go through that and put that in my medical suitcase. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but my cousin, who was an oncology nurse, oh, I think I did earlier today, um, was an oncology nurse and is teaching nursing, is going to teach me how to self-access my port. So that's pretty exciting. So I kind of ordered extra supplies. Um, and every month when they call to um, renew my supplies, I'm kind of getting a little extra to kind of set aside for something that's happening later in life that I can't really mention. The reason my cousin's teaching me how to self-access my port but I will tell you guys about that later. Not today. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing so far today. Or should I say tonight now that it's 8.15. So, I better go get Mom's um, lunch made so that I can go through my supply stuff while I wait for my laundry to finish. So, here we go. Well, it's officially that time of night time to say good night. Um, I got my bed all made. I don't know if you can tell. You see my pillows, but my bed's made. Laundry's done. Mom's lunch is made. Um, I worked on the first pack of invitations for Christie's going away party next month. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have addresses that I need, so I'm going to have to work on that at some point. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm tired out. It's been a busy day today. I feel like I've been going, going, going. But that's always a good thing, too. So, and I've walked 14,000. I've taken... 14,494 steps. I don't know if you guys can even see that. No, you can't. Unfortunately, it doesn't light up. I don't know why. But that's okay. Let's see. Can I show you from here? Let's just see if I can get into my phone and show you. And try. Rebooting. Rebooting. I love it when it starts rebooting. Okay. I must say, I'm pretty proud of myself for this. Um, yeah. That's that, and I am not ready to call it a day. So, say it with me. As always, toodles for tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thanks for watching Jen's Adventurous Life, Life with a Chronic Illness. Please be sure to subscribe down below.